Hello everyone. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how I make this Viking. And as usual, we are using Saracino modeling paste. This is just brown straight from the top and roll out a cone and then slightly flatten the end and then make the shoe or the boot for the Viking. Use a cocktail stick as the structure and just twist it motion and go through the paste. And then once it's in, just slightly roll thinner the ankle. And then you want to poke it kind of like uh, the same width of the, uh, the top of the boot or the, the feet. <laughs> And then you want to use the same color paste and then roll it out like a square-ish round edge paste and just squish it in and just um, close up all the gaps. So he is wearing some sort of kind of like an armor paneling. So just um, use some, well, I have mixed some black and white color paste and then roll it out and then I used it kind of like a half circle. People normally use it for smiling on the face, so I uh, just put it on as a pattern for the armor. And then use the same brand to make the trimming and then cut it to size. Then we are going to make the shield. So same again, a uh, brown paste, and then cut the shield out, and then just use the pointy side of the Dresden tool and then score some lines to make it look like a wood pattern. And then just use um, the same color gray for the panel and then stick on the trimming for the shield. And then once all sides are done, I have some tiny silver edible bubbles and then just decorate the shield. Using the same brown, just add a belt for the panel. And then uh, he, he's carrying some sort of a, a weapon. Uh, I will call it a knife. And it doesn't look like a hammer. But you see the shape in the video. So I start off with a cone and then I just kind of sharpen the pointy end and then stick it onto the cocktail stick. Uh, you don't want the cocktail stick to come through completely. So you just want it to poke out a little bit and then you just shape the paste around the stick. And then continue to shape the weapon for the neck you just use the back of your paintbrush and kind of dig in a hole into the paste and then put in a cocktail stick i mean with this one in particular you don't have to put the neck in because you won't be able to see it but at the beginning i was thinking oh i might uh, have it short hair at the back, then without the neck will look really weird. And then I changed my mind, I want the back long hair as well. So in this particular um, model, you don't really need to do the neck part 
if you can't see it. So with the nose, you just want to uh, kind of make a ball and then make it kind of like where the, the nose bridge is. It's, you just want to feel that kind of uh, slope. And then just take a hole for the, the eye and then fill in with white paste. And then I have some black edible bubble and then stick it in as eyes. And I didn't film how I put the uh, highlight on the eye. Basically, just two tiny white paste a dot on the black edible bubble. And with the eyebrows, it's just a, um, a really light yellow. Uh, I mix it with white and yellow paste, make it kind of like a really light yellow color for the brows and for the beard. And then when putting the head, slightly tilt the head a little bit so it's not like kind of straightforward. And with the beer, you just need to stretch it into kind of like a heart shape. And then just cut all the edges. And then use the Dresden tool to kind of mark out all the lines for the beer. He has some sort of decoration at the front of the beer. So just roll out some thin paste and then twist them around like in the video and then cut it into length. And then you just need to score the end for the end of the hair. And then use the same color gray as the armor and just add as a tie for the end for the hair. And add a bit more paste underneath the nose to cover the, the plaques. And just randomly score some lines for the beard. And then move on to the back. Basically, you're doing exactly the same how I did at the front and just kind of hide both and the side of the head and then just cut the bit off where the head joining to the head. Then I use the same brand as the body and roll out two sausage and then cut it into length and then just indent it where the elbow is and then stick it onto the side of the shoulder with this side you don't see the hand so uh, just stick the arm onto the body 
and then just make sure it's all contact and stick to the body at this part and then add a bit of wire this is 24 gauge wire and make sure only tiny little bit ha uh, is sticking out from the arm and then um, you just kind of uh, stick the shield to it the shield should be still pliable now so um, I slightly curve both sides of the shield now moving on to the other arm uh, just cut out the hand like this and then round off all the edges With this arm, uh, it's slightly different. Same again, just a sausage, and then at the end, use a paintbrush to indent kind of like uh, the entrance for the sleeves. And then indent the elbow, like that, like so. I mean, uh, you can put wire through the arm, but I didn't. And then put a bit of wire in for the hand, connect to the sleeves. Once you're happy with it, stick it onto the body. Make sure the elbow is stick to the body as well. Then kind of position where uh, where you want your arm. And then while it is drying, ideally you put something underneath the arm so that it won't droop. Moving on with the head, uh, the pace is a bit soft, you can see it stick to my knife. So just roll out a ball and then cut one third of it off. And then stick to the head, make sure all the joints are smooth now and all the edges are clean. Then use the same colour as the armour, the grey paste, and then stick on the trimming for the head. With the front, I have cut kind of like a, a pointy end to go just above the nose. And then just cut off the back. With the horn, all I did is just roll out a cone to a pointy end and then put 24 gauge wire in and then just stick it onto the head. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel for new videos and updates. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.